Hey everybody, welcome back, Bonsai Butterfly here for another episode of Fallout 4. You only live once on survival mode with no HUD. Now, you can see the lovely Trixie, she is here. We're on the outskirts of uh, Concord. And we're in that little house where there was supposed to be a weapon, but there wasn't last episode. So, we are just kind of sneaking around down here. Now, I walked the whole way down here, and you think, oh, it's fairly safe walking down from there. No. Rad storm happens, so let's take a look at what we've got now. Um, yeah, I lost another hit point to rads during the rad storm. Now, I did run back to Sanctuary and sit out the storm. So, but I was all the way at Red Rocket, and there's, I wasn't going to run into Red Rocket and make sure, I wanted to make sure there was a chair somewhere, but, uh, I could have probably done it, but that's the way it goes. All right, so let's see where we are, our inventory, basically. She's carrying the same weapon she had before. We modified those in the last episode as much as we possibly could. Yeah, so let's take a look at the data. Sanctuary Hills now has two people because I did put up a beacon tower. And so now there's two people there, and they're doing whatever they want to do. Because, well, one of them's picking food, and the other one is just kind of wandering around doing stuff. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, let's head down today. What I would thought I would do is let's head down to, oh, I think, uh, let's get rid of that uh, quest marker. Greet the dog. No, let's not. There we go. All right, so what I thought we would do today is head down to Skyline Drive-In, right? Head down there and then maybe probably go over to the, uh, the old folks' home and maybe do Super Duper Mart in the next episode, but meet Trudy. And maybe Trash Can Carla, so that we can get a few things done. Now, I didn't bring anything to sell. That's going to be for a future date, but if you meet Trash Can Carla along the road, she will come to Sanctuary where we can do business. So, that's kind of the plan I want to do today. So, let's get ourselves ready. Let's get into a f third person, get the gun out. And as you can see, the random event that occurs here, well, there's nothing going on right now. Um, let's just click a little bit. Just to make sure nothing's going on down here. No, uh, no bears, no dogs, no scorpions, nothing. All right, yep. So, um, in the last episode, I did come down here and loot the uh, dead settlers over here and all that stuff. So, we're just basically going to be traveling uh, down this road here for a little while. Um, it's kind of one of the safer pathways down to the drive-in i want to come up around the back side of the drive-in um where there's not any enemies the other way there could be where you're going to run into the problem with trudy and i want to do that on my own i want to sneak up behind them and take them out or at least have trudy maybe do it yeah so we're just going to travel down there going to click the whole way scary travels <laughs> Now, there's some danger in Skyline Drive-In, so we're going to avoid that. There are two mines and one explosive door. So, yeah, we're not going to tempt fate there. I will check this bus. Oh, come on. Give us something good. What are we getting? Two stim packs. Well, we can, we can, we can sell those. Yeah, we can sell those. I'm just going to tap as I go along here um yeah that's the um that's the quarry down there I don't need to go that direction there's nothing down there for us but I'm just gonna sneak along a little bit there's a little bit of loot down there but it's not really worth traveling down that way um, yeah, there's a gentleman there who would like to enlist our help, but we're not going to do that. Swimming around in rat-infested waters? No. No. We're going to go in the back way to Starlight Drive-In. Be a little bit careful down here by this swamp. I don't trust it. You know, bugs. Bugs, the bane of Trixie's existence. <laughs> so let's keep going. We're closing in on level 7. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do when we get there, but we'll figure that out uh, when the time comes. It's crows. It's crows. Don't worry. What's this? What's this? Um, I don't know. 
another random event. Sometimes you can have the same event that happened to us last episode where it's the two holding up the guy who's just come out as a synth. This guy... Um... He doesn't look very friendly. He's got like... It looks like raider gear or scaver gear, you know? And he's cooking, sure, but he doesn't look like a vendor. So maybe we just steer clear of him? Yeah, you know, I don't like tempting fate with these things, these random events, and that one doesn't look familiar to me. Just looks like trouble. I know he's highlighted in green, but, you know. <laughs> sure he is. And if he was a vendor, he'd have more people with him, right? Caravan guard, maybe a cow. He just look, looks like he's making himself a delicious dinner. All right, let's keep going. Up here. We should be closing in on the drive-in theater soon here, just up over this hill. Just up over these rocks, in fact. I kind of think I want to go up into these rocks once we pass by this telephone booth here. Yeah, telephone booth alongside the road. Hmm. Oh, no, the car didn't go through. Uber never showed up, and so she died. Jeez. Well, maybe the Uber driver decided he wanted to live. I see cows down there. Yep, Brahmin. They are. They can hurt you. Mm, not too worried about going after the Brahmin. So here is the back way into the drive-in theater. So there are mole rats here. Um. <clears throat> but what I want to do first is I'm not going to loot this first. Um, well, maybe we should go around the other side, get a little bit of EXPs maybe for unlocking a door. But there is a mine in the screen if you go up those steps. And there's a mine laying down on the counter down there too. So, yeah. And there are mole rats here. Now, I don't think the mole rats activate until you touch the workshop, which is here. Um, and then they come after you. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to do that, but we're going to do that in a little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I have, a, I have kind of a plan for it. Um, we'll see. Because, yeah, unless you go down there, you don't really see them. So we're just going to head up along here, steer clear of the main area down there. I don't see any mole rats moving around. don't hear any. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's just see what we have on the outside. There we go. We've just discovered it. So we can grab that. The aluminum can there. That's probably all we really need now. There's a key for this on the top of the uh, screen, but... <laughs> not going up there. Guys, I'm not going up there. Because the, the mine is in a weird place. It's laying on the top of a landing between the staircases. And... <laughs> you know, it takes your chances. That would end the run. That would definitely end the run, my friends. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Wait till I get the sneak level up a little bit more, maybe. Um, and then we can think about stuff like that. I didn't really want that one. Okay, that. That. Some aluminum can there. Another one. Right. What's in here? Ooh, a comfy pillow, some radix we can sell, wood, fiberglass, and cloth. Ah, yeah, all right. I wish there was a, like maybe a mine or an explosive in there. Let's just sneak around here. There's a bug in here. I know what you're thinking. I'm sorry, there's a bug. I know there's a bug in here. But I think we can maybe sneak past it. Ah, duct tape, flip layer. We'll take all that good stuff. I want that, and I want the fusion core. Let me just check my weight real quick. Yep, we're good still. We're good. Yep, 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 yep. So, 
I want to walk over here, but I want to go past this. Hmm. I think it's when you come over here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Stupid bug. There we go. And grab that fan. That's some dandy boys. I don't think I can open this. Don't think I can pick this. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> Food, nothing else in here uh, that we really want. All right. Let's go, let's go. We'll come back for a lot of this stuff later. I do want that. Um, you know, the cans and stuff. Once we've cleared this area... Now, the difficulty is going to be clearing this area. Um, the mole rats are going to attack. Um, and it's totally random how they do so. Is it one at a time? Is it two at a time? Are they all coming at once? You know, that kind of thing. Um, hmm. And vodka. Some cleaner. Ooh, pop. Yeah. And then worthless food. <laughs> worthless food. Ah, uh, that gives us a little bit of perception, but I think I'd rather have the army helmet on. I don't really think I need the yellow fedora for anything. All right, now we're going to put on our brave face. Brave face. Now, I'm not going up here, guys. There's a, there is a mine on that landing right there. Yeah, and it's dangerous. So, I'm not doing that. If we get to sneak three, we can because we don't set off mines. That'd be great. But we still don't have sneak three, so we set off mines. All right, this is going to be the dangerous part. So, I want to go around over here to... to the workbench. Okay, and I want to do it sneakily, so quietly. <laughs> From up here, bubbly. Yes. There are six, I believe, six mole rats here. So I'm going to count them. Um, and we're going to do a little tricksy trick here. Hopefully, I'm right that they won't get activated till we touch the workbench. The, I think that's how it works. Um, unless you run through here and real noisy like, maybe. I, I don't know. And I know you're thinking, Bunsai, why aren't you wearing your power armor? You got power armor. No, I don't want to be clunking around in power armor, man. I probably should. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now we can loot the stuff in here. All right, but all right now. <laughs> nope. Now I think I've activated the mole rats. Maybe. Maybe something else does it. Not exactly sure, but I did interact with uh, with that. See, there's uh, that right there. Blow that thing up. Yeah, I don't see any mole rats out there yet. Oh no, I hear music. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. Yep. Ah, la 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 la. Let's see if there's any bottle caps laying around here. There are. Yeah. Okay, what else is here? There's a nuka cherry. That's good. Um. 
yeah, we don't open this door because there's an explosive device rigged on it. And I cannot tell whether I'm opening the door without the HUD or if I'm deactivating that. So, yeah, no touchy. No touchy. When we go to scrap this area out, we can probably take care of all that, I'm going to say. Flip lighter. I don't think the mole rats actually open that door, but if you do... I'm trying to activate the mole rats without going down there. I really don't want them after me. Military cat. Huh. Huh. Well, <laughs> let's take it. Yeah, let's do. Is there anything actually in that container? No. All right. See, I'd like to take this. Um, but no mole rats are showing up yet. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can hear that train, guys. Train's going by. movie goer so what did you think of um the new movies coming out huh hmm any good sci-fi um oh it looks like you're into horror i see yeah maybe i didn't touch that thing in my all oh, my other runs man as soon as you touch this they all activate they all come out like it's more rat city Oh, but now it's not, right? <laughs> okay, guys. Well, all right then. Well then, if they're not going to come out and play. See, what I don't want to come out and play when I'm down on the ground. I want to be kind of up here. Like, if you get up here... They all come around this side over here. And you can shoot them one at a time. But, if you're down on the ground when they all decide to appear, they come up under your feet, they do damage, they hurt you badly. It's not a good sign. Not a good thing. Not good at all. Okay, well... It's because I'm recording for you guys. It doesn't work. Every other time I've done this, it worked. <laughs> Ooh. I keep thinking I hear him. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really wanted to take over Starlight Drive in today, guys, on this episode, but it looks like... Maybe I should just head down to the convalescent home instead. Yeah. And then we'll come back. Uh, sometimes there's a random event that happens down at this bridge, too. What's down there now? I don't see anything. Okay. Well, 
I was hoping to set up shop here. A little bit of water, a little bit of cook, you know, station, kill all the mole rats, but uh, they're not willing to play right now today. So let's head down instead to the convalescent home. Um, I want to also get this place so that we can stash a bunch of stuff. Um, because I do want to do Super Duper Mart, and Super Duper Mart is full of goodies. Yes, it is. But I would, I would not do it without my power armor. That's a dangerous, dangerous location. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> no thanks. Just a, uh, just a lid. Okay, so you don't want to go into conquer too far um there's a guy with um a fat man launcher in there not good and a bunch of raiders make your day horrible and you thought bugs were bad ha <laughs> all righty then we're coming up on it is it shady acres or something Shady Acres is the place to be. Senior living is the life for me. Meds. <laughs> no, don't keep going with it. All right, you're singing. That, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Just want to sneak our way down in here. Because uh, the raiders aren't too far away from this location. They're just kind of over in these trees. Or over in these trees. There's buildings. All the locks in here are advanced locks, but there is something here we definitely want to grab, and that is this. Hell yeah. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Yeah, let's do that. What do we got in here? A military grade duct tape, chef hat. <laughs> you know, why would I want to increase luck? I'll never understand that. Check my weight, make sure we're okay. And I think this pop machine is empty. Damn, seniors! <laughs> Drinking all the pop! <clears throat> Dog tags, it's just blech, steel. Nah. Let's check in here. Wonder glue, nice. About this one. Nothing. Yeah, we can't get into this. Won't be able to pick this. No, we won't be able to pick it. And I think there's some gourds in here. We'll grab them. That's about it. This great this place has a lot of good chems if you can get in this door. But it's a security door with a key, and the key is downstairs, and... Locks really strong. Yeah. Yes, it is. So, without advanced lock picking, we are SOL on that, so... Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Check in here. What's in the fridge? Ah, uh, worthless stuff. I don't think there's anything in here either. It was just the magazine. Um, it might be a chessboard or two, but, you know, that's about it. There's nothing out here either, as I recall. There's a fire barrel, but that's about it. Can't check that. Nothing here. What's here? I can hear that fire barrel burning. Let's grab this stuff too. There we go. Alright. What's this? Oh, it's a Nuka Cherry. They didn't drink all the soda pop. They left some on the floor on their way out. Ah, okay. Now, what time of day is it? 7.13 p.m. Postmortem? <laughs> Post 
was more to admit the old Ah, it's bad. I know, it's bad. But we can just grab a surgical tray, and there's probably some jet there. Yeah, we can grab some of this. Why not? But the thing about this place is, you see, is you can actually sleep here on this nasty ass ugh, mattress. And I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing once I grab a couple of these things. I'm going to grab the truck. There's some screws. Ah, It's your boy. <laughs> All right, so let's... Uh, Let's check our stats real quick. She's thirsty and hungry. I did bring food with me, so that's good. Um, I think it's... Um, let's have a couple of little sips of water. Uh, ribeye steak. That should do it. Yeah. Oh. Um, did I get rid of that illness? That illness went away. Yeah, it's good. Let's sleep here. Yeah, let's sleep for about 12 hours. So it's daytime again. I don't want to do like dark videos for you guys. And I realize that uh, sleeping, you never know what's going to happen when you wake up. Whether you're going to have a disease, whether there's going to be a rad storm. Um, God, I hope not a rad storm because I don't know if there's anywhere to sit around and sit down here. Looks like a nice morning. All right. So. Let's head back up. Let's make sure we're okay as far as inventory goes. 129 or 175, that's good. Not hungry or thirsty. We did that before we went to bed. And no diseases. Good, 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 good. Good all the way around. Now let's just sneak back up. Uh, to uh, the drive-in. Tapping. Tapping. Yeah. There's Super Duper Mart right there. That's probably another destination we want to get to. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Extremely dangerous location. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that place. I don't blame you. I don't like it either. So yeah, just a little bit of wandering today. Things didn't work out exactly as I planned them. Uh, the mole rats didn't show up. When you expect the mole rats, they don't show up. When you don't expect mole rats, they do. So, when I've been playing around with this for quite a while to try and get the mole rats to actually spawn where, when and where I want them, and of course they're not gonna. Let's see if there's any mole rats out and about now. We need to sneak over here. There is... I mean, I can drop stuff off in a container around here if I need to. Not a, nary a mole rat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's put some stuff away, shall we? Yeah, let's put, um, we'll put that in there for now. Uh, let's see, what junk do I have? I have a fusion core. Uh, I'm going to take that with me. Uh, I'm going to put all this junk in here. No, not the Abraxo, the aluminum cans. That will go in here. I can leave this vase in here. Jangles, because I might want to build a bed and a chair. 
Um, a little bit of steel is not going to hurt. Snooka Cola bottle in case I make some, a water thing. Uh, let's see, that can go back up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Teal vase. Tin can. And those. Glass and copper. So in case I want to build a um, power station, I can do that as well. Blue lamp can stay in here. That can can go in here. So can the cigar box. Yeah, the comfy pillow. In case I want a bed. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Sure. <laughs> right. Well, my friends. I know. Thrilling episode this time. Thrilling. But we did get down to Starlight Drive-In. We did actually find it. Uh, let's check our stats real quick. We're at 120 of 121. Um, we should have uh, this place on the map, and it is. That's great. Um, yeah. So, in short of, I, I really, really don't know how to get those uh, mole rats to come out and play. But in the next episode, what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to Trudy's, and we're going to talk to Trash Can Carla as much as possible, hopefully. Um, when we come back to this location, I may skip it altogether. If they don't come out the way I want them to, I'm just going to skip this location. Um, they're being finicky and jerks. So, uh, yeah. But uh, that's all the time I have for in this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And leave me a comment on anything you'd like to see in the future. Cool. Until next time, Bonsai Butterfly signing off.